Hi, I'm Professor Stephen Lewandowski from the University of Western Australia. Most climate deniers seek to avoid scrutiny by sidestepping the peer review process that is fundamental to science. Rather than seeking to communicate their research accomplishments to the scientific community in peer review journals, deniers either post their material on the internet or write books with non-academic publishers. Books are printed because a publisher thinks they can make money, not necessarily because their content has scientific value. Nonetheless, very occasionally a paper does appear in a peer-reviewed journal that is heralded by the media as evidence against global warming or its human causes. So, does this mean that there is a debate among scientists, after all, about climate change and whether we cause it? As a researcher interested in skepticism, I decided to find out. And what I found is quite astounding. Far from there being a debate in the literature about the fundamentals of climate change, those occasional contrarian papers are, well, quite unusual to say the least. For example, in one instance, a paper that claimed to show that climate change was all due to natural variation wasn't about climate change at all. In fact, the term climate change didn't really appear in the paper at all. And on top of that, the work was deeply flawed as well, but that didn't keep it from being celebrated in the media as showing that emission cuts are unnecessary. In another instance, a paper was accepted for publication under such dubious circumstances that half the editors of the journal resigned in protest. And the publisher ultimately issued a very unusual public apology because that paper was so flawed it should not have been published. And only a few weeks ago, a paper that was critical of climate science was itself officially withdrawn from the journal because it was found to be largely plagiarized. The list goes on, but it is clear that these papers do not represent skepticism. Science is inherently skeptical, and peer review is the instrument by which scientific skepticism is pursued. Circumventing or subverting that process does not do justice to the public's need for scientific accountability.